I'm pretty sure we would have seen them take away a lot of things, though, that are now considered why yeah. Melee is so... Yeah, they, they want... It's such a good game. And it seems like they're actually, like, watching competitive games, because that Bayonetta nerf was definitely from watching uh, competitive Bayonetta. So... All right, but we're going to hop into uh, Grand Finals here. So this All right. Best of five. I'm going to jump right into this. Lou is already taking the look out. Redeemer's Eve walls him out. All right, but AX was able to cover the back. He had a good save right there. Absolutely. We're going to see a lot of down airs in these Marios. <laughs> counter. Ooh. That's the one thing. Um... Mario's have the fireball. I mean, like, it's not that much of a projectile, but they do have somewhat of a projectile lead over these two. Like, oh. In games like this, I wouldn't say uh, projectiles are too useful right now. Yeah, all chaos. It, it, it's very slight, but, like... Unless it... Unless the three of them are together and they're trying to approach, but right now they seem to just be in the whole mess of this. Right. You gotta watch out for those up smashes from the Marios, too. Right now, new team's forced on this side of the platform. For a back throw, trying to get a combo, gets an up air, but is able to take out uh, false there. Ooh. One Mar of the Marios goes down, a big double game. First stock, that's your second stock of the game now. Yep. And uh, it's pretty even in terms of the three stock uh, characters as well. So. Yeah, it's definitely. Even. Yeah, it's a little too early to call anything yet. So almost right there. Good forward air, it'll send Matt off to the Ooh. side of the stage. False right now, got his partner. Get a little too close right there. Very oh, the nice dolphin slash, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the up detail right there. That's nice awareness. Yeah. And uh, they do have one stock advantage, but uh, AEX has 122%. Not getting a little sandwich in on that side, you see. Yeah, not a lot of people are covering AEX though, so we'll see if that plays into Red's favor down the line in terms of stock. Back throw, looking for a spike, a little too early. Tries to go for the two frame also off the side there. Back throw, again, a lot of the back throw lead ups into combos. Because they're looking for back throw and then spike them in the Mario. Gets oh. one, but alright, he takes out teammate. In that was not there. a good trade right there. Yeah. Probably, he had the right idea going for the spike, but his partner just got caught in that. Mm -hmm. I think right now we're seeing 5-4. Counter, oh, and accidentally takes out blue. Yeah, that wasn't the uh, opportune time to use counter. Right now, there's pretty much racking on damage. Corn's already at 46 on the last stock. They oh, keep up pressure on The him. earthquake coming through. That's a lot of, that's yeah, pretty much all we're seeing from blue team is plumber, accidental team hits. But Yeah, the plumbers are doing a good job of going on their stocks right now. AX needs to get back and hold that stock. Because situations like that. Oh wow, he still has all three. But now, just because he said it, he's got two. The Beamer having a little bit of trouble. Blue tried to cover with down smash. Gets a throw out of it. He's able Ooh. to take out that stock. Blue just gets the full raw for Not even raw. Forward throw. Yeah, and if they can take out uh, Matt here, they might be forced to share stock. So we can be even. And there it goes. No option Ooh. for share stock. Okay, there's the Redeemer's got covered his partner right there. Three on two, low percentages, and there goes Fox, so. Oh, this is turning a bad situation right here. Yeah. Three V1s are going to be very tricky. Expect an up side. smash. Expect an up smash. That's what they're going to be fishing for. We're going to see a lot of rolls and falls right now. Especially off of throws. He's got to be careful with where he's grabbing people. Also has to be careful where he rolls too, because he rolls in the wrong person. That's an up smash right there. It's a back throw, but his opponent opponent was <laughs> throwing his teammate. Back throw. Oh, just barely Ooh. dodged that grab Matt, on that box. Yeah, Matt, they're not aware of the grab armor right there, because after in doubles and triples, if you throw an opponent, yeah, just the hold for the. I was surprised that Fox couldn't mash out. Uh, False couldn't mash out of that. You see three plumbers on the screen right now. <laughs> You gotta make do. You gotta make do. Like Dream Mario is like, all right, roll up, squaw. <laughs> squaw. <laughs> roll up. All right, so let's see if any character adjustments we'll have from the blue team here. I don't um, think we'll see too much. Hmm. But honestly, with a lot of teams, when you have a team, when you have a whole team that works well, picking a new character can actually just throw things out of whack. It can, yeah. That's at least from my ex my personal experience. But just like. I know at least two of these three characters on the blue team, uh, Martha and Corrin, have disjoints, but just in terms of Mario's rushing around, 
like Mario against Marth, it's in advantage of Marth. But if you have three Marios, you're eventually going to get hit by one of them. Well, count honestly, counter picking characters, I don't is another thing I don't feel too strong about in this kind of game because mashups are a lot different. You could play Villager, no, you can play Villager Ness mm -hmm. and pit him up against a Rosalina and Marth or something. Yeah, and it's all it's all percentages, so it's not guaranteed or anything like that. Yeah, but like yeah. You, you figure, oh man. Ness probably gonna get by this game because it's Ness with Rosalina, mm. but because of the, yeah, the different characters and the dynamic there, it's just because Rosalina is a hard matchup for both of those characters and the other team, right. it doesn't mean it's gonna spell the end. Because okay. you can just because everything is crazy in doubles, so you can give oh, away yeah. a lot more stuff. That's true. All right, and we saw a swap here. Uh, Falls decided to go Samus. Uh, that'll give them projectile advantage, and the shard shot can spell either. Fear or devastation, just taking out characters. Um, but again, Samus isn't really known to be high on a lot of people's tier lists, so it could, it could go one way or it could go another way. So at this point, as long as Samus just keeps charging up the charge shot, and this is actually a very interesting switch for Boss right now. I did not expect something like this coming out. Back air able to take out uh, Matt there from early stock, only about 30 seconds in. I wonder if those platforms are going to help yeah. out boss a lot. I, I keep seeing a lot of uh, blue team accidentally hitting each other. It might not lead to KOs, but they seem to be hitting each other a lot by mistake. Yeah, right now, blue team's looking a little bit confused on, as to where the enemy is. Yeah, but <laughs> although they are hitting each other, they seem to be a little bit more focused because uh, they're up ahead by two stocks right about now. So. Oh, but a cape. All right, he held on to his up B. No, he caped oh, the second nice. time. Yeah. Boss saw about going down there, but second guess himself. So it's not worth it. <laughs> and there goes the up smash, taking out Fox. Oh, we almost see another cape right there. Hey, X loves spinning that thing around. <laughs> yeah, he took out Blue just a couple of seconds ago. Man, why am I see from these plumbers? I see three. No, I see nine battlefield platforms on the screen right now. Around nine. That's six. Six. So. Yeah. All right. I want to see these Mario's. It's get, it's hard to do with triples straight. just because there's so much stuff going on, but yeah, there should be a little bit more combos than you normally expect. And uh, there goes Fox. Uh, uh, Fall, sorry, that's his first stop taken. And uh, but the Mario is at very high percentages, so it's definitely not at, uh not a sure thing yet for this red team. Fall's doing a good job right there, charging the charge shot, getting that ready. That thing will rack up a lot as long as it's kills. And again, Falls just used the charge shot off the side, and I saw earlier that Blue uh, accidentally up smashed on the Falls. So once again, I keep seeing these attacks uh, that are hitting the Blue team, hitting each other. Alright, pretty clean stock taken there. Six all around, high percentages. Double up smash. Woo! And across the stage, uh, gets sent Redeemer. What, 5-on-5 five five here. Despite this, the game's actually looking very even right now. Yeah. It seems that they pulled in a little bit more of their focus, because I haven't seen too much from False that showed, like, sat, uh, the pick of Samus was a pretty good option. I think that they just focused a little bit more, and they were able to turn no, I think they're just fighting as one unit. Yeah, know. exactly. You no. Know, they're not hitting each other as much as they were earlier in the match. Made a few corrections. Blue trying to edge out AEX here. And there goes a charge shot kill, taking out Matt. He's sure. They he sure has to be aware of Samus right now. He has a charge shot ready. Right. If too many of the plumbers are on there, the team just go through right now. And forward smash. Almost as out his teammate, but he gets a second one. Sends out blue off the side. Flare Blitz not connecting with anybody. That was almost a really tight team combo right yeah. there. Charge shot. All right, Matt has to play really careful. I played a good job shielding that, though. Yeah, but the shield's low, so you want to apply pressure to that. But up air from Redeemer. Very nice uh, awareness overall. With all this space, though, shields like that will come right back. Mm -hmm. And now, we're up to a 2v3 situation right here. And up B's going to leave him vulnerable. Okay. Got to wait. Got to wait. 
I see what he's trying to go for. I'm not sure if I like it right now. Yeah, and right now they're just mixing up this blue team. There's just too many Mario swarming them left and right. However, it is blue and it is blue and false right now. So obviously there's gonna be a lot of synergy right there. Right. And Charizard's pretty heavy, but at 172, he could be thrown at any second now. Especially with that weight up smash. Very nice read on that getup. That's not a situation a blue team wants to see right now. Yep. Having your partner and you separate in a 3v2 situation is super detrimental. Right. Very nice neutral air. Wow. Send them all three across the stage. Mask the first one up. Breaks the grab. Oh, would have gone Redeemer. I probably would have gone with the grab there. Try to set up for something. That was cute. Because they usually go grab and they just wait on the opponent and then one of the other Mario's gets an up smash out of it. Yeah. Trying to go in deep. Can't get the tether. Gets the up B. All right. I think you wanted to pull Turns around. Oh, the cape again from AEX. Almost mixes up. False. Gets the ledge trump. And yeah, he didn't yep, have. That was solid right there. Yeah, he didn't have invulnerability that time. AX is going for those down smash. No, it's too fancy. Yep. And again, Mario Twins, as it says down here on the, the screen manager. Twins. Yeah, they have team names now, apparently. Mirage, Session, Mirage Sessions and Mario Twins. Oh, can I just say it real quick? Yes. AX and Matt. I love what they're doing right now. Mm. And whenever I see them, I just think to myself, man, those are the Mario brothers. They're, oh, they're yeah. actual brothers in real life. Yes, yeah. We have like two or three uh, Mario uh, brother teams that come here. It's uh, Vex and GOG, uh, Project AEX and SSB Matt, and uh, what is it, Enigma and Flame and Giraffe, I believe, as well. Yep, they're also brothers. Right. Brother teams are overpowered. Man. Let, me, <laughs> let me tell you. Yeah, I mean, like <laughs> they got genetic uh, synergy. That's. that's I a, mean, that's, their synergy should that be is banned? In their blood. Should like, that come be banned? On, <laughs> we didn't have, have a ruling on ruling on that. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. All right, so let's see. Charizard's the heavy one of the characters, and against three Mario's, he's already up at fifty-five percent, and the scaling up eighty-four already. Oh yeah, forgot uh, 6WX and Uno. Thank you for that. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Literally the best doubles team right here. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, I would say uh, Vex and GOG and them. There's only a father and son bond right there. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. I mean, like, Geo usually goes the same character as his brother does, but they still put in there. I thought Geo and... Wait, Geo and Bill Nye? G no, Geo and uh, 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 Vex. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, I, I saw him twice where he went both DK and Cloud whenever his brother went. Alright, so right now, trying to get back to the match. Oh, that was good right there. Uh, two stunts taken on Blue Team. I'm surprised by the weight that EX just did right there, but it ended up in his favor. And False went Sheik. And we saw the Sheik at uh, CEO. Put in a good amount of work. Um, I believe he lost uh, one when he was Sheik, though, for his set. Yeah. Alright. So we'll see what Frost will do here. Let's see if he's like void material or not. But again, uh, the forward smash of Fox taking out Frost. I keep noticing these blue team hits. I think he's doing a good job right now. Yeah. I say, Frost is a very good team though. Oh yeah. And that up the just short, Fox gets his uh, Fox is on on her last stop. So like that. They gotta put in a fair amount of work because Mario's at still pretty low percentages. And Blue is at about 95 here. I mean, not too much trouble for a heavyweight, but still, he's getting up there. Nice jab, try to get the back throw. Look for combo, but oh. Blue interrupts and gets a grab. That yeah, was a good jab to throw right there. Because yep. he almost. Yeah, his partner almost just got netted right there. He just broke that up. Good weight. For the air dodge, we set up all the uh, air to try to attack on one of those Mario's. Uh, Blue right there, he just, he's waiting. That was, I don't know if you saw it, that was a Mexican standoff right there. Yeah, it was a little bit. Because the one, both partners are backing each other up with that grab, like, oh man, he, if he tries to break it up, I got you. And the same thing went <laughs> to the other side. Right. <laughs> up throw off the top platform, not high enough damage though. And uh, blue team sitting at pretty high percentages, but oh wow, very was that bouncing fish kill. or forward air? Fair, forward air. Forward air. That was okay. a fair kill right there. Matt answers clean though with a smash of his own and takes out blue. Cool, it's really just. 
And uh, if Falls can hold on to this last stock and uh, let Blue and uh, Fox take up damage, it could be one point in terms of yeah. Mirage session. Falls really has a focus on just getting up, racking up damage and playing his hit right now. If anything, maybe seeing a few needles or something coming out from him would yeah. be a good bet. 126. Gotta play very careful. He's in the middle of the stage and the Mario's coming in. So this is definitely even right now. Yep, and there goes an up smash. But they did pretty good percentage-wise. Um, Red team needs to focus on getting the kill on Corrin right now. Because once they yes. get that 3v2 situation, it's all downhill. It's all downhill from there. Yep. But AX almost get taken off off the top here. First team loses stop. Uh, loses Counter stop. able to connect and takes it out. Oh, picks out um Matt there. Blue team back here, the they'll get AX by himself. Blue team turning the situation on Red team right now. Yeah. Redeemer and AX on their own. They need a Let's kill. Let's chomp, and he gets the up smash to Diamond Cutter, able to take out um, AEX that time. Redeemer gets one kill, though. He's at 117 with a heavy hitter like Charizard and a damage racker upper. But here comes the grab combo into up B. That'll take oh, it out, and we got one point. That was solid. Yeah, for Mirage, se uh, Mirage Sessions. Keep screwing that up every time I say it. <laughs> All right, so yeah, they were able to turn it around. It was a little bit dire about like midway, but mm -hmm. they turned it around in the last couple stocks. So it, I guess they made the adjustments they needed to for that round. So yeah, now the score is two one right now. Mm -hmm. Coming out from a bracket reset from here would be quite impressive. It, if they yeah, could. reverse would be amazing. Let's see, stage opportunity. The Mario's definitely won something with platforms. Like you said, com you can get uh, Mario combos with platforms like it's nobody's Stage business. Stage like Big Battlefield. Oh my god, I can't. That <laughs> Big Battlefield. For all these Mario's right here, that, that sounds like a really good stage. Pyrosphere. Yeah, we saw this from before. They get the opportunities on the uh, the ledge where like Mario's having a little bit of trouble predicting like the, the forward air spikes. But, I'm so excited to see the stage right yeah. here. Yeah, and then also the uh, the middle doesn't have any platforms on it, so they basically have somewhat of good recovery if they ever get sent off. If they can approach the middle of the stage, they should fairly get back on the stage no problem. That also means not, not really any platforms are blue to do up there standing inside there. Right. They have to get everything on the side of the stage here. Right now, they're forcing Blue Team off the side here, trying to get back to the center, and they do that. And the back oh. air... Doctor almost closed out his own partner stock right there. Yeah. He's got to be a little bit more careful. He has to be a little bit more Up selective. Off the platform. About yep. Yeah. He has to be a little more selective about that back air. Blue is just really playing. Oh, did you see that? Wait time. No, I missed out. What happened? Um, that was flood right there. And they, flood, they flood. I think they're starting to flood their own partners now, and they're doing crazy attacks. Oh, okay, yeah. There was um one double set I saw where um Mario and Rob team went up, and uh the Rob throw that throw? sends them up and down. Yeah, Mario flooded them off stage, so it basically they suicided. It yeah. <laughs> it's basically a Bowser grab right, right at that point. Yeah, exactly. And it's hilarious. Up smash takes out AEX from blue. And a forward smash almost takes out Matt. The foot stool from false. Trying to get in here. Flare Blitz coming through. Doesn't connect. Uh, blue team sitting in high percentages. And there goes one. And again, Fox is on the last stock. Oh man, on their last stock already. Yeah. It's not looking too good right now. Although, um, okay. the plumber's making some proper adjustments right now. Yeah, now it's five to six. Uh, not too high percentages, except for maybe uh, the AX on the other side. But there goes Redeemer racking up the same amount of damage. Boss coming in like, no, baby, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, he interrupts the throw with an up air. Very nice from... Um, I forget which Mario that was, actually. It was just so impressive, I couldn't see the name. Oh, that was a really good way from Redeemer, because he almost activated that counter right there. Yeah, almost kind of hit the counter, and Blue and False are on themselves. Oh, wow. I'm not Mario. sure how I feel about this. She's choosing not to take the stock right now, but that presence of her own, if she just takes it, would be very much needed in a team like this. Uh, hey, especially at these high percentages, yeah. AX and Matt, I know. And there goes one. 
There's going to be a lot of situations where AEX and Matt is actually 2v1 a character. Right. I know when they get going, they, they have that brotherly blood, that brotherly blood right in them. So that, <laughs> those team combos just come overpowered. Up throw is going to be his friend, and without a platform, able to take off off the top. Very nice. At 140. But there goes uh, the opportunity to be a show stop. Now it's definitely a little false on their own. So many, so many Mario up airs right now. Yeah. If they can take on Matt while also focusing on Redeemer, I could see them pulling it around if they do that. That's like probably their only option right about now. Especially with these throw combos that the Mario's are getting. Yep. Right now. Oh. Percent is getting racked up very quickly on blue team. Yes. Looking at one stock apiece. Like okay. you, you can tell False is kind of doing his best to touch his teammate right now. Yeah, and Blue's having a little bit of trouble actually just landing on stage too. Especially now, if she would have forward throw right there, that attack would have blocked the other person from attacking her. Ooh. Yeah, that was, that was good, yeah, that was good yeah. awareness right there of uh, Blue to get off that Sent ledge. off the top, Blue trying to find one of his own, but he's just in a little bit of trouble, especially that falling up there off that platform. Like it's gonna be the end. He's finding trouble, oh, able to break through with the, yeah. Oh, yeah, but, at least he got a cool rock smash. Yeah. It looked pretty neat. Yeah. And that will be AX, Redeemer, and SSB Matt taking grand finals in doubles. For oh, and triples, yes, by mistake. for Wee Bear Bears, number 38. So many we were bears. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. I remember the first I remember the first brotherly love was a thing. That was hilarious. Two more weeks and then it's three months since uh, uh until an anniversary again. Ah, that's so nice. Yeah. Yeah, I All brought right. I brought over a to a microwave toaster today. <laughs> yeah, I brought two did. microwave toasters. I brought a popcorn machine. <laughs> so we're getting the food going. So if you guys are hesitant at coming, because oh man, I'm kinda hungry, man. We're gonna have some. You still food have to pay venue fee, so it's gonna be five dollar popcorn.